Hello everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. This is Bun Kok, Vietnamese mini pancake. These little guys have the right balance of taste and texture. They are savory and crunchy. You can wrap them in a rice paper roll or in green mustard leaf. It's the perfect finger food to try. And in this video, I will show you how to make them. To begin, let's go ahead and make the batter for the pancakes. I am using the store-bought uh, flour mix. If you don't have that, you can certainly mix it your own. It's a combination of rice flour and starch flour. The other ingredients I'm using is a one can of coconut cream. And instead of water, I'm using uh, club soda. And I'm adding extra turmeric uh, powder in addition to what's already in the package. So those are the ingredients that you will need to make the batter. So for the shrimp on top of the mini pancake, these guys are still pretty big. This is the size that I am using, so I want it fit into nicely. It's still pretty big, so I'm just going to cut it in half. So I'm going to do this for each of the shrimp. And then I'm going to salt and pepper and let it marinate before I start cooking. So I'm going to continue to do this for all the shrimp. I have about a pound of the shrimp in here. Okay, for the shrimp, what I notice when I uh, slice them in half, there's a little vein in the middle. So on the top, I already took out the vein, but in the middle there is one that's still there. And it's not on all of them. Let's see. This guy right here. So I just take um, a toothpick, carefully pick it out because it's still very delicate. So if you're not, if you're okay with that in there, that's fine. But you know, all these years that I eat the shrimp, I've been eating them without noticing these guys. But now that I know this, I'm gonna have to start cutting these shrimp in half and pick these guys out because I don't want to eat that. So let me just take this out. I know it's more time consuming but I prefer to eat clean shrimp. Okay. So to garnish the mini pancakes, what I'm going to do is um, Soak the dry shrimp. Sh soak the dry shrimp into water for an hour, and then I'm going to put that in the food processor to turn this into powder. start making the dipping sauce for our mini pancakes using our mini food processor put in four garlic guys rough chop that and then I'm adding in um, four chilies um, the you can chop it on the the board. I like this method, it's quicker for me. And then I'll just pour that over into our, my bowl here. And then this is the base of the fish sauce in here. I have equal parts of sugar, vinegar, water, and fish sauce. So I, um, that should be 
good enough for today. And then for the mini pancakes, I prefer the sauce to be a little bit more uh, diluted than what I have in here as equal parts of everything. So um, I'm adding in uh, a quarter a, a cup of lemonade. So this is just a, a preference. Um, it makes the, the sauce a little bit more um, uh, tangier and a little bit sweeter. So um, fish sauce is the base is equal parts of everything, but then uh, depending on what I'm using it for, I will um, modify or adjust it based on my um, very lemony, but it's still uh, salty and sweet. And so this is perfect for um, the mini pancake uh, bun pop. Okay, so the batter I pre-made it this morning. I let it sit in the refrigerator. Now I'm just gonna freshen it up before we gonna cook it. I made the first batch. Francine said of the flour need a little bit more seasoning, so I add just a pinch of salt on there. So to freshen it up, what I'm doing is because the batter it's been sitting, so it's a little bit thick. I'm just adding in one tablespoon of um, club soda and hold it by doing that it's gonna get um, the batter is gonna crisp up when we fry it so this is how i fresh up the batter just mix it up with club soda and that's basically it so we're ready to cook this okay so we're gonna start cooking the mini pancake this is the second batch I have the um, pan uh, heat up and high. I'm going to turn it to medium low. And I got some oil in earlier. Just in a little bit more oil here. We need a lot of oil to, uh, for the mini pancake to, uh, to crisp up. And what I'm doing is I'm taking just a sheet of, a quarter sheet of the paper towel, and I'm touching each of the, uh, the mold and making sure that the oil are evenly distributed and it won't get stuck anywhere. So I'm doing this. I used a brush earlier, but this is too hot and so the brush was just not effective. So we're using paper towel. So I think that's pretty good. This is gonna go pretty fast, fancy. So many, um, Bun sale, kind of like a mini version of bun sale. Mm -hmm. So start going. Ooh, I'm not gonna fill it up. Fill it halfway. What Francine is doing, she is uh, putting in mung bean, a little bit of mung bean. Mung bean is optional. My mom put mung bean in bun sale, so I'm doing that. The first batch that I made, I didn't put any mung beans, and it tastes just fine. So uh, we're layering it with mung beans, and the, the topping is the uh, shrimp. And as you recall, the shrimp I had it, uh, I cut it in half. And I want to push the shrimp down because I want this guy to be stuck. Wow, you did that really quick, Fancy. I see. I don't want to touch the shrimp with my hand, so I'm doing chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm a master. Very good. <laughs> We're doing this outside, so you're going to hear traffic, cars, whatever that's going on outside. Noises here. I love the, the aroma of this coconut mung beans. Mm -hmm. Smells wonderful. And the batter, I put extra turmeric in here. It's a little more yellow. Yes, just to get that extra color. I think I cover everything with shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. So this guy needs to go um, for about a minute. And then I'm just going to move it around um, to make sure that it doesn't get burned. I'm going to take the lid off. Okay, let me get the lid off. What I want to do is just move this thing around so that way it... Won't get all stuck when the batter will drop. Any excess batter is going to drop. 
So I'm just, I'm not really flipping over, but I'm just moving it to the side. So any excess batter is going to drip down and cook. Like this. That looks cute. I think this is done, so I'm just gonna take it out. We'll plate this up later, but just gonna get it off the heat and start another batch. All right, mix these guys up real quick here. Okay, I won't do it from there. playing tennis, yeah. looking at my agility. Oh, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching him too. Because he's never played tennis before. No. Mm -hmm. Not really. Oh, I have one extra shrimp left. What should I do? Which one? Um, um, this one? No, that one. This guy. Okay. Are you ever felt like that? Yeah. I always felt that guy. Okay. Okay. Like this is perfect. See, it's all dry and crispy. So I'm going to take this off the heat. Actually, turn this off. We'll go inside and we'll plate this up for you, Francine. Plate this up for Instagram and for Francine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is play up what I have here is the green mustard leaf, some Thai basil, and the dipping sauce. I showed you guys how I made that earlier. So I'm just gonna plate this up, get a couple of the mini pancakes here. Put that in the middle. I'm trying to grab one that nice and pretty. This one is very crispy, but it looks kind of funny. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is okay, once I get these guys to cooperate, this is the shrimp dust that I made earlier. So I'm just gonna add it. Live it on top just to garnish it because after all this is a shrimpy mini pancake so we're going with the theme of shrimp we have fresh shrimp and these are shrimp dust thumb coal Vietnamese we call this thumb coal but I just kind of made it my own I made it even extra I made it into a dust by putting in the food processor Clean that up. And this is the pickle uh, carrots daikon. So get this over here. Yeah. Yep. So this is how you would uh, plate this up. All right, Francine, go ahead and taste and let me know how it. Okay, How so this taste. one way to eat this guy is you take a little leafy boy, you grab one that looks, that just speaks to you, I guess. This one in the middle. Ooh, that's warm. Beep. Beep. You put a little mint boy or basil boy mm -hmm. on top. You get some chopsticks. Just or use I'm, your hands. I'm barbarian, so I use my hands. <laughs> what? 
so you put that on top or on the side so it's easily wrapped up. And then you wrap her all the way up and you try to shove all this in your mouth but I don't know if I can because my mouth is small. And you dip it into the sauce. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. So, Good. Mm. So I'm an, another way to eat it is I show you earlier that I roll it into a rice paper roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Mm. The shrimp does kind of add that extra flavor to it. The batter is it's very much like the bunsen. Have the same coconut turmeric aroma to it. So it's very good. I love that. So I get my own dipping sauce so I won't contaminate yours. But I think I like it in a rice paper roll better. Mm. Several ways to eat it. And you can use whatever leaf that you want to. I just happen to like green mustard, so let me just double tap and double wrap this too. Um, yeah, not lettuce. No, it's green mustard. Um, but you can use any green leaf that you have. Green mustard is a little bit bitter, so if that's not in your uh, taste bud, then um, use whatever green leaves that you have. How do so you like the green mustard? I'm not saying it's bitter. It does have like a a, a a bite to it. Yeah, like a like a taste, like because um, lettuce doesn't have really a taste. It just tastes like water. Mm -hmm. This one does taste, I guess bitter is the right word, but it's not like super bitter. More fiber. Yeah. More nutrients. Yeah, it, it tastes more leafy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a grassier, leafier taste. Mm. I like this. Very happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, and I hope to see you back here at the next video.